today I want to talk to you about something that is very important to me, which is the concept of value loops. You may have heard of value streams before. You know, they're a staple from, from Lean. Um, they've come to new uh, visibility in, in recent years with people talking in terms of DevOps, in terms of, you know, inspecting the entire system. Um, this is the first way of DevOps, right? <clears throat> but the problem is a value stream, you know, it's, it's this sequence of activities performed by whatever actors that are supposed to deliver value. Okay, so far so good. But the problem is th the entire term value stream sort of implies directionality. It's all going downstream. It's all going that way, which isn't exactly wrong, but there's something really important missing, which is that there must also be feedback loops. And that is the one thing that really bothers me with almost every client that I talk, talk to, even if they are thinking in terms of value streams, they tend to think only in the downstream direction. And I wish that more people, more teams, more organizations would, um, would consider the upstream direction, the feedback direction as important as the downstream direction. I don't think that the, um, the lean persons who, uh, you know, who came up with the term value streams ignored or weren't aware of the importance of feedback loops. And I'm sure they were very keenly aware of it, but in, but in that sense, the term value stream is, you know, it, it leads to sort of a mistake in thinking. It, it invites you to think in one direction. And I wish that more, more value streams were constructed with a downstream direction and an upstream direction at the same time. And then as you build out your value stream, you always at the same time consider the inverse direction to grow your product, to grow your organization, to grow your work, to, you know, to not waste the value stream. It's not supposed to be a static thing. It's not supposed to be this, um, you know, perfect on the first try. That would be ridiculous. You're setting yourself up to fail. Build value loops. Build structures that enable you to learn to change your value stream. You know, maybe, maybe you discover that actually this is a terrible idea. We should rather do it slightly differently. And of course, have feedback. This is something that I've found to be more and more important to me, this whole idea of value streams as opposed to value loops. And I'm going to talk about this a little more in the next video, I think. Thank you so much for watching.